What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for y'all and as you can see I have Pierre with me in the passenger seat and by the title of today's video I am going to be, well Pierre is going to be telling y'all what it's like to live and be with a car guy such as myself. For all you car enthusiasts out there I'm pretty sure y'all have your own special person or other half that uh, has to deal with some of the things that y'all do and I already know how that is on my end but uh, we about to jump into this video. Yeah, you ready for the video? I'm ready. All right, so I have a list of things I'm gonna ask her for her to tell y'all. So uh, if I have my phone up, that's because I'm looking at the list. But first, Kier, I'm gonna need you to tell you what's your perception of car guys? Like, what do you think a car guy is? Like, describe one. My definition of what a car guy is is somebody who collects like old school cars. Like, that's initially what I would think a car person is. I initially would never think it is somebody like pj like who works on the car well yeah you work on your cars but more so someone who collects like old school cars antique cars not your initial impression but like what what do you think a car guy is like as of now are you sitting right here like describe a car guy to these people they might a car, a car guy is guy. someone who works on their car 24 7 who's always trying to improve modify their car who goes to car events always buying car parts always washing their car just obsessed with their car the upkeeping uh did i do it i know i'm still not getting it right well i mean that's your perception on it but i i would say a car guy is like it's like First you have, well, I mean, that's not a bad perception, I guess. But I just know, I don't think most car guys have to do the stuff 24-7 and have to like think about it and all that kind of stuff. But I just think they have to have the passion behind it, so. Right. All right, so with you dating a car guy, what do you think, or should I say, what do you love about me being a car guy? Like, is there anything that you love actually like like be like, oh, I'm glad PJ is this because he's a car guy. Or, I'm glad PJ does this because he's a car guy. Well, I mean, I'm just glad that you found something that you're passionate about and it's something that you really want to work towards to build your career. Like, I, I, I'm happy that this is what, this is your thing. Like. You're passionate about it. You're not wishy-washy. You're not someone who one day you're into this and you're, it lasts for a week and then the next week or next month you're into something else. So I'm happy that this is something that you're able to like focus on. And and that's all you care about. You don't even care that I'm a car guy. You just, you just <laughs> care about it. you glad that I found something that I like. I mean. Ain't nothing about me being a car dude or a car guy. As you like, hey, I'm glad he's into cars because this would not have been. Well, yeah, because I mean, living here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, like you're not like most guys out here in these streets. I feel like I'm glad that you're into the car scene and not like, you know. Why? I feel like this is a safe route. Like this is a productive, safe route for you to be going down, and I am very thankful that that's what you. It is very expensive, but I'd rather you spend your time and money working on your car and going to car events. Like that's something that I actually enjoy going to. Uh, Just like his last video, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. All right, so we went through what you loved about it. You know, it's pretty much nothing. So what you hate about it? Like <laughs> what What do you hate? Absolutely hate about me being a car guy? It literally takes all of his money. And it can be very time consuming. Girl, but I at the, what? I ain't never been broke. I never said no, not broke, far from broke. But I'm just saying, like, it's always something. If it's not one thing, it's another. Which I mean, that's another reason why I feel like you got rid of the Cobra, right? Because it was literally Oh that. not just old. Yeah, so it was like taking a lot more of your time and it required a lot of maintenance and nah. just I mean, that was part of the reason. That was like yeah, 20 just like that was your it. daily drive. But, okay, yeah, well, yeah, because it was tired old. Of being, and you wanted you know, something old new. Car. Like, I was spending a lot of time and money when I don't even have another car that ain't old. Right. Well, yeah, it's just, um, it, it's 
a money guzzler. But, I mean, hey, you, you like what you like. That's something that I can say I kind of, I kind of hate about it. And I hate whenever it requires him to do some, what's the word I'm looking for? You know something I really don't like when you do to your car? When you take the grill off and you ride around without it. <laughs> that is so ugly to me and it's just, no. Uh, no, no, no. Just the grill, you talking about the whole front bumper? The front bumper, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, I said I only took the grill off like once. No, twice. I don't like that. But cars. yeah, man, sometimes you just gotta do that. I'm thinking about one of my next cars. I'm thinking, like the Miata? I might yeah, I know. You no told bumper. me that. No. Y'all. <laughs> no. I might ride around with no bumper. Yeah, I don't like that. Just because, that. Just, because, just because I plan on boosting it, though. Well, I don't plan on I'm in the process of turboing it. But uh, that big can cool see, off the front of I would love to see the Miata on the track. Video, go watch. Okay, so is that the only thing I would, you would say you hate about it? Like mm. just the money? That and then that's the thing, it's not even really that I hate it, but I mean, if I had to choose something that I hate, that would be it. Um, yeah. Oh, so you don't mind like the whole know. just me racing, going fast, making my car loud? No, I actually, sometimes I play like I don't like the loud, man. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes it can be, you know, like late at night and you, <clears throat> now that, that, Lord, they gonna call the people disturbing the peace. But, um, I actually like that. I like when he go fast, too. It's not the safest thing, but I can say that that does worry me. I, whenever I'm not with him or not around him, I know he's going to like some type of event. I know there's a possibility he'll be trying to line up with somebody i just it's not so much that i'm worried about what he'll do it's other people like i feel like stuff happens so fast and it's not that i'm afraid that he doesn't know how to handle himself or how to do whatever it's just other people and i always think back to rakeem's incident that happened his friend rakeem that that always played in my mind whenever he told me he's going to some type of event because that was, the Lord was on his side. That, that That was, yeah. Happy you're good, Rakeem. Alright, so do you think, or uh, would you say that this hobby is a good or bad hobby? Yeah. And why would you say that? It's a good hobby. Like I said, like, previously, with the whole, the way the world is going today, and people your age, and so, yeah. Like, they yeah. say they say well car guys car guys they usually spend that money on just their cars so any extra money they have they don't spend it on like drugs and alcohol and like all that because they could be buying stuff to fuel their it's like a it's like it's kind of like a you ever saw like <laughs> I don't know it's it's like trying to it's like trying to fill up the ocean with the water out of the ocean. Like you get a bucket and you pick it up out of the ocean and you it over into the ocean. Yeah, it's like that kind of. So it's like you fuel in something that's never gonna be full. Like yeah. ever. No matter how much you say. If you're a car guy, no matter how much you say this is the I'm last done. thing. You're never done. It's never gonna be finished. He, like, no. he gets to that point so many times, I'm always like, no, you're not. I ain't never like, gonna be finished. Yeah, yes, you did. Just like when you said, just finish with the port and polish, the manifold intake, and wow. It's like after I do that, and da da da. Nah, and that's, I'm done. that's certain things. But as far as like my car, my car ain't never gonna be finished. Yeah. It's just going through stages. Does it affect the time and money that I have and spend on you? Okay, so. <laughs> um, no, not necessarily. You do a good job of like telling me ahead of time, like if you have something that you're gonna be working on, that's gonna be kind of lengthy. So I know we don't like playing stuff around that time. Or if it's something that I really do want to do, and it's something that you want to do too, like a project that you're working on your car that's gonna be lengthy, you'll kind of like put that off to. 
accommodate what I would want to do. Or we'll figure it out. But no. I would say it doesn't. It doesn't affect. It doesn't the time affect. Time or money. You don't think that if I wasn't in now, the cars, I'd be able to I'll be able to spend more money on you. Or I'll not be able to, because of course, like, but that I would spend more money on you. No. Cause that's just you. <laughs> you wouldn't. No. You could be a millionaire. And we've talked about that before too. Like whenever this YouTube thing gets even bigger than what it already is, like he's gonna still be the same old PJ. Maybe a new shirt here or there, but <laughs> it's this is one person I can say you won't ever have to worry about. He didn't got money and he didn't switched up, you know. Hey. Same PJ. Hey, it be like that. So, no, I wouldn't. I feel like, of course, maybe for like Christmas or a birthday, you might do a little something extra, but as far as same regular day to day, nah. Um, well, as long as you know. You ever have any problems with me asking you to like do stuff? With like my cars or whatnot with me. Um, yes and no. Like sometimes, like if I'm really gonna be doing something, like whenever I was helping him with the Miata, like that was fine because I was actually like doing stuff with him. Like I actually helped him change the top and I was holding stuff. But like whenever I'm there and I'm not doing nothing, it's like. Bro, I'm going to break nothing. I don't even want to break nothing either because I don't have those type of coins. I don't have those type of coins to be paying for stuff. That's why I get nervous to drive his car. And like he just made a statement, a comment the other day saying that his clutch kind of burnt up. And that's courtesy of Moi. I was just playing. But um. My clutch should be straight. I um. I don't mind helping. But sometimes it can be boring. Because I mean I'm still personally not into cars like that however i've grown to love it because i love him and that's what he loves so i mean of course i'm a little more knowledgeable about it than what i was when he first really started getting into you ain't it. got no choice you gonna like cars regardless whether i'm here or not hmm? yeah like oh that's a nice car i like that but i mean i'm not like oh, let's see what's under the hood let's I don't want to do that. No. But I'm saying, I'm never going to be yeah, like that. Yeah, trying to make it sound like. I'm not about to be like these oil snippers going around at these cars. <laughs> I still can't get over that. Y'all, there's people that go around at car meets. If they see a little puddle, they quick and take their fingers and <laughs> sniff it. Like, what? <laughs> that blows my mind. But that's what they do. Uh, I won't ever do it. I don't think I'm that deep into it. I might just You did something. You had the fault, but it was under your own car. You kind of was just like, Wow. Wow. <laughs> that's a lot different. <laughs> yeah, they go around to other people's cars and like, Oh, puddle. <laughs> I think I got one more question for you. And it's, uh, would I ever, like, if, if it was the last thing, last decision I had to make dealing with you or a car, would I ever pick the car for you? You think? No. You don't think? No. Oh. And you know why? I'm talking I say about any that? car. No, you. Yeah, you know why I say that? Mm -mm. Because we were having um, a conversation before in the past, and at one point I did. I was nervous for you to like go out and like race other people, and he was like, if it ever came down to a problem where you was just that uncomfortable and you wanted me to stop. I would, and I wouldn't have a problem with it. You told me that. You remember that? If you said you I said it, if you said I said it, then no, I just don't remember saying it. I just don't. I just don't remember saying it. Wow. But I mean, it's it's a possibility I could have said it. You said it. Okay. You said it because okay. it had something to deal with. Um, okay. Well, you just gotta remind me. So, with you being a person that's 
in cahoots with a car guy. You got anything you want to say to the vlog or say to me? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Because I ain't trying mm -hmm. to hear you talking bad about car guys. I mean, behind camera back. No, I wouldn't talk bad about you. You ain't got nothing to say. You ain't got nothing to. You ain't got nothing to inform the girls that might get into cahoots with a car guy in the future. Just be ready for the ride. Literally, Literally yeah. <laughs> Cause at any given time, sometimes I go from this to, you know. So, I mean, sometimes I gotta get my fix. I don't know. You, know, you just be cruising like said, and you just get to itching. Okay. And you gotta drop a gear. <laughs> Oh, something else that I do like about um, like your car. You like it? I don't ever have automatic. No, like you starting to really shoot them flames. Wow. I like that. I like when you shoot flames, and I really do enjoy going to the track. I do. The like the no like the last stuff. video. That type of track and um, I only, only went there once. I know, but I, I did enjoy it. And like whenever we go to um, Port Allen across the river, yeah, I'm like, I don't really like going to the drag strip. Mm -hmm. I just go because that's what y'all like I, to see. I kind of like it. I like it. Well, I'd rather go autocross or to like know the motorsports. I like to do that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, I, I like the turn. I like to take it on some back roads. I might. Matter of fact, let me know in the comment section if you made it this far. If y'all want to see this car on some back roads, POV, with a GoPro on my head, and just show y'all how this car can handle, since I didn't really get that in the uh, other video, because I left my GoPro mounts at home. So, yeah, I couldn't really get that. But let me know in the comment section if, uh, if y'all want to see that. Okay, well, I guess this is where we're going to end today's video. It's been nice for Kiera to inform me and you about how it is to date a car guy. I will never know how it is to date a car guy. I will just only be the car guy. So I wouldn't know that. And uh, comment down in the section below. Let me know anything that y'all want to see on the channel. I do make automotive content. I try to post at least like once every three days. Don't worry about what happened last week because uh, I didn't really get to that. But... Go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Leave some positive vibes in the comment section. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Share this video with your friends and family. And... Always remember. Always remember to do more, be more. Believe more and achieve more. <laughs> Alright, thank y'all for watching. What's up YouTube? PJ back with another video for y'all. And I have Kiara with me. Sorry. What's up YouTube? PJ back with another video for y'all and I have Kiara with me as you can see and as you can see by the What's up YouTube? PJ <laughs> back <laughs> I had to yawn but then you caught me off guard okay. I could have um, been a 38 big Okay <laughs> Next <laughs> Next I could have been trail fam, young savage. You can catch me yeah. flying down out line. And <laughs> we wouldn't be. Line. We wouldn't be. I'm not about that life. <laughs>